Yeah, Craig Allen has the details on what uh, looks like a beautiful day today, albeit, uh, I guess, below average temperatures-wise. For right? today, yeah, definitely. It's only going to 70. It has an October feel to it. Now, yesterday, at this time, we had some light rain and showers that were moving through the area. The one that uh, may have toppled that tree was the squall line that came through between 4 and 5 during yesterday afternoon. There were marine warnings uh, in effect for the area, so there were some gusts between 40 and 50 miles per hour. That could have done it. But all you see this morning, besides the blue sky, is one line of cumulus clouds way out in the distance there, well to the north. There's the GW, if you could pick it out right there along the Hudson. 56 and sunny with a west-northwest wind at 14. So delightful outside with that little taste of fall. Yeah, <laughs> the leaves are still there. And they're, they're colorful, if anything. You know the leaves aren't coming down just yet. Quite Quiet week ahead with the temperatures actually warming back up. You know what? You're going to have to water this week because it is going to be warm and plants are still growing. We're certainly nowhere near our first frost. 55 degrees in the city uh, for uh, this morning, earlier this morning. It was in the 40s across most of the northern and western suburbs. Normally, it should only be 65 for an overnight low. So this 55 it made it feel the last time we were that low was uh, back in May. 70 degrees, our high for today will make it feel like it's October 1st. That's also about 9, 10 degrees below average for this time of year. But it does not last for long. That shows it right there. So this area of high pressure, as you know, the winds are clockwise around high pressure. So northwest, uh, they're cool, they're dry for today. And then as that moves offshore, obviously we get back into a southwest wind. And that warms it up. A lot. It's going to be well up in the 80s this week. No chance of rain today. Just a slight chance that a shower could pop up in a couple spots tomorrow, especially north and west, and maybe more so than the city or the coast. And then it zeroes all across the rest of the way, probably for the entire week. So once again, there's the area of high pressure. And as it moves offshore, the winds turn southwesterly, and you'll see the temperature recover like, like you know, by five, six degrees or so per day as we go on through the next couple of days. All clear right now for the most part and uh, as we go into future cast here there's some patchy clouds that may show up during the afternoon hours nothing worse than that nice and clear for tonight nice clear and cool for tonight too and then again tomorrow here are the patchy clouds and yet there are a couple of showers I mean we're talking about up across the Hudson Valley north central parts of Pennsylvania there so there's really not much to be concerned with small chance small chance out there and then it clears out once again and the warm-up begins so 74 today again that October feel with a nice cool breeze west northwesterly winds 56 is our low tonight in the city and again the suburbs will be in the 40s it's an open windows night to keep the house cool shower uh, it's a possibility to the north as i said but otherwise 75 to 84 tomorrow and then it really starts going back up with readings in the low to middle 80s now the humidity won't be oppressive but it does go up as well before this week is through so feeling like august once again as compared to today's october that's quite likely as we go through the week. Summer's hanging on. It sure is. Just for a oh, little longer. It right? does. It does that. <laughs> okay, thanks so much. Thanks, Greg. Greg.